Welcome to my portfolio for EDCT 6901 Special Topics Workshop. This is my Makerspace module featuring Hour of Code and Padlet. If you're interested in the Hour of Code modules or Padlet recommendations detailed in this video, links are available on the site. Navigate my portfolio using the sidebar menu or the module graphics. Hour of Code and Padlet are located with Makerspaces. I worked with four different Hour of Code activities. Khan Academy, Making Web Pages, Scratch, Create Animations That Talk, Harry Potter, Hour of Code, and Khan Academy, Drawing with Code. I chose Khan Academy Making Websites because I have basic HTML experience and wondered what skills will be introduced to students. Making Web Pages was recommended for grades 6 plus, HTML, and Cascading Style Sheets. The tutorial was a nice blend, a nice balance between video instruction and hands-on challenges. Users can scroll through the activity and return and redo anything that they wanted to redo. By the end of the tutorial, learners develop a simple web page with text, headings, images, and color. There are also options available for going beyond the hour. I was a bit disappointed with the process used for inserting images. Learners are instructed to link to other images on the web page as opposed to using their own. The desire to keep users on the Khan Academy site is understandable. However, images relying on other websites is not a best practices for web design. The next activity I selected was Scratch. Create animations that talk. This was for grades 2 plus. Scratch introduces learners to coding using blocks that snap together. In this activity, they create characters that move and speak using text-to-speech functions. Animated video tutorials direct users through the process. All of the actions are color-coded and simple to identify different functions. The screen is divided into three sections with code, a work area, and screen activity. By the end of the tutorial, I was able to give voice to an animated cat chasing a butterfly while displaying it on a park background. Scratch is really an engaging way to teach code. One of the nice things about this activity was the opportunity to make it my own. I could add or subtract characters and have them do whatever I wanted them to do. The third activity I investigated was Harry Potter, Learn to Code and Make Magic. Five different challenges were available. After struggling a bit with the flying car, I chose to try and levitate a feather. Learners follow a series of steps, clicking through the process and dragging code blocks to the designated work area. Learners follow a series of steps, clicking through the process and dragging code blocks to the designated area. Events are color-coded and each has a specific configuration. The work area is uncluttered and divided into three sections. Events, work area, and canvas. While I did finally levitate the feather, I also struggled. There was little freedom to explore with this activity. Focus was on completing the series of steps exactly in the order they were presented. I returned to Khan Academy for a final activity, Drawing with Code. This hour focuses on JavaScript, introducing learners to drawing, placing, and coloring objects while using an online web editor. This is for grade 6 and up. The tutorial provided an overview detailing what students will complete during the hour. As with building web pages, there was a selection of challenges interspersed with video tutorials. With this activity, attention to detail, such as why scripts are ordered, was really well done. Color pickers for background and shape simplified the process. By the end of the tutorial hour, I had the start of a penguin in the snow against the blue sky. In all honesty, I would have benefited from a simpler introduction to this coding. And as with the website building, 
there is an opportunity to code beyond the hour. Reflecting on the hour of code, the number of activity choices available was a bit intimidating, but it was also great to be able to limit not only grade level, but also subjects and activities. I struggled getting hour of code to provide a completion certificate. I wondered if following the prompt to create a Khan Academy account during the first session and to earn badges may have been a contributing factor. The next part of this module featured crowdsourcing with Padlet. I added my selections to the crowdsource in column C. My list contains four items that I have in the Instructional Resource Center, or IRC. While not officially a makerspace, we have tools, equipment, and resources to help our community of users create in the classroom and on campus. The other four tools are wish list items. Board games are popular, both for general and instructional use. Legos and unruly splats would be great additions to the materials kit collection for creativity and STEAM activities. A poster printer benefits not only in-house creativity, but provides opportunity for visual literacy, allowing us to print posters and infographics. Last week I started researching pricing and models for poster printers with hope it will become a reality before finals. Finally, Tech and Learning recently published a top 10 makerspace favorites which influenced several items on my list. Finally, resources for further reading are presented and references will provide links to platforms used and help pages. Thank you for reviewing my Makerspace module.